this is part three of the Senna wood frame right here we have the top base plate I've labeled the word top on that because this is how it appears on the plans what we need to do uh, this is a template we turn it over we're going to put some double-sided tape on the back side of this once all of our double-sided tape is on there we're simply going to peel off the backings turn it over and press it down firmly onto our 18 inch wood that we have cut out here which is going to be the rest of the base plate as usual we clamp it down of course that way it's nice and secure on both sides or at least however you need to do it to cut this out you can see again we have the word top label there this here i'm placing some boards on the side those are some backers lower the router down to the workpiece lock it in place we are going to then move our depth turret all the way to the bottom and we're going to drop our depth rod all the way down onto that to zero it out you place the red line on zero pull the depth rod up to the mark that you want to cut at and then lock the depth rod in place after that you then move the depth turret back up a couple notches just so where the when you plunge down on the router it will make contact with the workpiece so here we go what I'm cutting out here is the large data port section we're just going to simply go around this as you can see I'm going in a reverse rotation with the blade is going in I went around all the outside of this and then I started routing out the top section of that and each time we just plunge lower and lower we don't want to make the cut too deep because if we do that you may tear out the whole piece on the bottom because it is thin down there what I'm doing here is making multiple passes with this you see this was a first cut it does just go around the outside as it says just continue plunging the router into the workpiece until you finally work away everything here it takes me about 10 minutes to do this for the video I cut it down short just so you could kind of get a rough idea of how I'm going to cut these out you just see you just slowly take away layer by layer every time until you're down to the very bottom of the bare wood which you can see is almost there right there in the very back I'm just slowly chipping away at that and that's done the area for the large data port will be completed you see I've got that router also resting on that board that also provides a lot of stability for the router because you see there's just a thin edge to rest it on otherwise the router flexes and you're going to really mess your work up. These are the last few layers that I'm taking off. The step down on the router actually has about eight different settings for it so it does take a little bit of time to get them all cut down. As you can see sometimes that board slips out. It's good to have the backing under that which would help. I did not have that so I'd advise doing that. You can see it just slowly routed down until I'm at nothing but the base of where I need it to go for the data port. This right here is the area for the leg uprights and the side plates. As well you can see just under that is where the shoulders will go. You just got to route that out to the depth required. Take several passes doing that. Everything I've done I didn't just go right down to the final depth. I took several passes to do it. This is a side plate. I'm testing it in just to see how much room I have and I do have plenty of room in that. And there's one of the uprights just making sure it fits. Here I'm just cutting out the circle using my jig that I have. Just go around the edges until basically that circle pops out. Once it gets thin enough, it should just come right off. I've also got some backing under that. That way it keeps it nice and secure and I have some wood to cut into. That way it doesn't leave a lot of tear out. There it is, just popped right off. Right here we have the base plate and you can see these are what I'm about to cut out are the slots for the coin returns. There are two of those on the back side and one that's on the front side. We just lightly route those out with the router, making several progression steps each time. You won't see all of them, I'm just going to do one here as an example to show you how we do it. Right here, this is for the back power coupling. There's also one on the front, we're going to route that out exactly the same way we routed everything out. Just make several plunge cuts into that and everything should turn out just fine. Don't go too fast with that. If you do make too large of a cut at the bottom, it will tear out the bottom completely. I did that in one section, but I'm sure that can be fixed later on down the road, so it's not too big of a deal. The only things I didn't show are the route outs for the um, side vents, and there are a couple of those on each side. It's not really necessary to show everything. I just want to give you guys the main idea. Coming up next, I will route out the middle of this. And the way I did that, I just made some lines in here because I wanted to keep my template kind of whole. I didn't want to break it. Same reason you see me marking out slots there. If I marked too, cut too much out of that, it would have broken the template. Once I outlined the template, I took my ruler and then I made the final lines for it. I used my jig just to go around the edges of the line and then just pull out the uh, middle for the uh, 
third leg. You can leave that on if you want. It's an option. It all depends on how you want to build your droid. Some people like the third leg to have a steady base. I'm going to use the pipe method. That way it takes a lot of the bearing weight off of the uh, bottom of the base plate there. I'm routing out the coin slots right here. This is on the middle ring. As you can see, you just go up and down and just be careful because there is a section for the uprights that you have to be careful. You don't want to cut too far into that. It does get cut out a little bit. This is really the only way to do this. Again, note that one piece I have keeping the router in place. And as usual, this is the same procedure as everything else. You do want to make slow cuts into this. I'm actually doing this freehand, so you want to make sure that you don't mess up. Just slowly work that router back and forth. Here's that upright slot. Slowly go around that because you don't want to cut too much into that. You see the depth turret? You just slowly work that down step by step until you're at the final depth of your cut. I've preached that all along just slow and easy and you get this thing done and it'll look really nice by the time you're finished with your templates and with cutting out all the plates and things like that and then you'll be ready to assemble your center frame. As you see here, we just have a couple more passes left to go, and this will complete the route for the uh, coin slot here. We're just about done. Once we're done, we can assemble our center frame. Again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Ask as many questions as you want. As always, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Have a great day, everybody.